Hello guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to make a tank shooter game. This is a sample of what we're going to be making. So we can shoot and move around. And well, both, it's a two player game so both sides can shoot. And the first one who gets a bullet on the opponent wins. So let's start off with on the making the sprites and the backdrop of the game. So we can first start off with a nice blue background. You can make the design by yourself, but I'll be sticking to what I showed you earlier. We can have a ground and a hill. You can have something else than a hill, but I will just be making a simple hill. Yep, and I think that's fine for now. We can actually make it a bit less higher. This is a bit too high. Whoa. Didn't mean to do that. Uh, we can we can have it like this high maybe yeah it's not that great but I guess we can work with this for now you can of course improve the graphics and stuff but I'm just making this quickly Okay, so now we can start working on making the sprites. So, just the simple brown rectangle for the body of the tank. You can make it way better, but I don't want to be working on the graphics very much and get on with the actual coding stuff. And for the thing that points to you up towards your mouse pointer, we can also just make a black rectangle. Yep. And we can duplicate it for both of the sides. Make sure you place the tanks right up above the green thing because we don't actually want it to touch this green stuff otherwise it won't work properly we can touch it later on but in the start we must have it a little more uh, above than the ground so we can name our sprites p2 shooter p2 tank P1 shooter and P1 tank. Oops. Yep. Okay. So now let's start with the code. So when the green flag is clicked, we go to this position, of course. So we'll go to. Where's the goat? Oh, yeah, it's motion go to this position and we switch costume to this costume one and we set player turn the player's turn to one so in the start the first player is gonna start the game so create a variable called player turn and set it to one at start we can actually show it as well. Uh, I'll put a large readout. Or a normal one is also fine. So, and then for the code. So forever. It needs to go in the front of the turret. We don't want that 
to be in the front. I, we want the body to be in the front. So go to front layer. And if the player turns equal to 1. So if player turn is equal to 1. Then we point in direction 90. And if the right arrow is pressed. So if the right arrow key is pressed. We move minus three steps. I mean we you move three steps. So we move three steps and if it's touching the green stuff. So put another if statement inside the if statement. And touching color this green. Then move minus three steps. Oops. Yep. Okay, and just for the effect, we can make it turn three degrees. And if the left arrow is pressed, we do the same thing, but for the left arrow key. So if the left arrow is pressed, we move minus three steps, and whenever it's touching the color green, we move three steps. And the direction will also be opposite. So that's it for the body is code and for the turret code we do when the green flag is clicked forever it goes to it goes to the P1 tank and it points towards the mouse pointer and also we actually need another variable called P1 power and we set that to the distance to the mouse pointer Oh yeah, that's in sensing. Mm. Yeah, distance to mouse pointer. Oh yeah, if we do this, then it won't work. So we need to do... Uh, because it's actually submerged into the tank. To fix this problem, we can just do go to the X position. Where is that? Oh, yeah, here. No, not here. Yeah, X position of P1 tank and Y position of the P1 tank. But the Y positions can be plus 5 because otherwise it will be submerged into the tank. So now when we run the code, it should be seen. Maybe we need a bit more. So like 10. 
it's still too less. And also, I think we need the third to be sideways. Yeah, now it's fine, but still we need it more. It, yeah, now it's fine. No, we ne actually need to make this longer. Yeah, now it's fine. We can actually decrease it a bit. We don't need that much. Yeah, it's okay now. And we do the same thing for this and this, except that it this thing is too. So to save time, we can drag this to the body tank. But it's very inconvenient as it doesn't work all the time. Oh yeah, it worked. And put this to two. And I guess that's it for the P2 tank code. But except we need to change the go to thing to here. And that will be 182 minus 111. Don't copy my coordinates because it will be different for your game. Just keep that in mind. And we don't need the set player to one. And for this code, we can copy this thing's code and make it the X position of P2 tank and the Y position of P2 tank and put this to P2 power and now both of the shooter things are pointing at us so that's it for this video Next video, I will show you how to shoot and how the game will end. Bye guys.